So if all of the x values, which means input, are different, then the relation is a function. Write that down for your notes. The domain are your x values, which is input, and your range are your y values, which is the output. You don't repeat things. So when it asks you, hey, find the domain and range of a relation and determine if it's a function, okay, we're not going to say the same thing over and over again. So for the domain, we have 6, negative 1, 2, and 5. It is customary to put them from smallest to largest, and we would put them in our brackets. So we would have negative 1, 2, 5, and 6, and the range are the outputs, which are the y values, which would be 2, negative 3, negative 2, and negative 6. Is this a function? Well, all of the x values are different. 6, negative 1, 2, and 5. All the x values are different. So yes, it is a function. For the next one, the domain, we have 5, 5, 5, and 5. So the x values are repeating. So no, it's not a function. And the only thing we say in the domain is that it is 5. We don't list them out multiple times. We don't need to say it five, 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 just five. That's the domain. The range are the Y value. And that would be two, three, five, and six. And for the bottom one here, we have these points here. The domain will be the X values to so be 14, 27, 35, 14, and 58. Notice that at the end, it's brackets, not parentheses. That also note that the 14 repeats itself for the x value, so this is not a function. And the range would be 3, negative 7, we already have a 3 and a 1. And it should be correct even if we don't list them from smallest to largest, but that is customary to do. And just looking at this one real briefly, a lot of students will make the mistake of saying this is not a function. But it is a function because all the x values are different. So this is a function, but they look at the y values and, and they think that it's not a function because the y values are, are the same. It is a function because all the x values are different. For this one right here, a different way we're representing the input-output relationship, the input is or you would just name these planets. So you would actually say Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto. And of course, you could argue that Pluto is not a planet, but for that relationship, we're going to say it is. And the output, which is the range, would be 11, 31, 40, and 25. And do note that we could list this in alphabetical order. That might be preferable. But let's go with 11, 25, 31, and 40. And yes, this is a function because for it not to be a function, we would need a line from, say, Venus went to, to another spot and we went to two different spots, then it would not be a function. But every planet has exactly one output, so it is a function. And for this diagram here, mapping the input, call this our X and this is our Y, that the domain would be 1, 3, 4, and 6. And the range is the y values, which would be 5, 1, 7, 8, 16, and 13. And since the 3 goes to two different spots and the 1 goes to different spots, they repeat. So this is not a function. The x values go to two different things, sometimes anyway, the 3 and the 1. And for the graphs down below, we're going to use what's called a vertical line test. If anywhere on the graph we can draw a straight line that goes up and down and it crosses the graph more than once, it's not a function. So the first one there is not a function. And the second graph, though, is a function because no matter where I draw this red line, it goes straight up and down. It only crosses the graph once. So it is a function. While the third graph, it's not a function. I can draw a straight line up and down that will cross the graph more than once. So if you have any kind of questions, ask your math teacher.